Wow. Okay, as soon as you people saw this brand new monitor in one of my recent videos, you people were like, oh ho, Vimal bhai, new gaming monitor in the house, when is the video coming? And let me tell you, I've been actually using that monitor for the past couple of days and now I think I'm ready to share like my complete experience and feedback and that is why I'm making this video. Thing is, a lot of people keep looking to buy a new 27 inch monitor for their setup that should be good like for both gaming as well as productivity side and if you're also looking for something like that, well, you come to the right video and also that should be in budget right so we have a brand new monitor in the house from BenQ and goes by the name Mobius EX 2710S and this is a 27 inch 1080p IPS gaming monitor with an insanely high refresh rate of up to 165 hertz with one millisecond response time and also has like built-in stereo speakers guys it's got like it's like a total package guys IPS matlab it's also good for productivity creative purpose 165 hertz so great for gaming and comes to 1080p resolution and today in this video we're gonna unbox and I'll be sharing like my complete experience on this product and I'll tell you is it good for the price and should you actually get it so let's get started Alright guys, here's our brand new gaming monitor from BenQ. It came in this sort of box packaging. Box packaging though looks quite attractive. We've got the BenQ branding, picture of the monitor on the front, says Mobius on the front over here and the model we'll be reading today is EX2710S. It's a 27 inch 1080p gaming monitor. Now talking about the features, well it's got some exclusive features like it supports HDRI, AMD is FreeSync Premium and also has like built-in speakers powered by Trivolo technology. Now going to the side over here, we've got some more of its features and specs mentioned. Let me give you a closer look and show you. As I've told you just now guys, it supports HDR, has an insanely high refresh rate of 165 hertz, 1 millisecond MPRT response time, IPS panel on board and also has like true 8-bit panel. So those were some of its main features and specs. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started with the unboxing. And there you go guys, here's how the interiors look like. Everything nicely packed and oh looks like we've got a lot of stuff over here. Starting off we've got the stand for the monitor. Oh wow, beautiful. Now that is a very unique design. Triangular metallic stand with beautiful neon orange accents. And as usual you've got some paperwork, just make sure to read that a main card for the monitor and you also get a free HDMI cable in the package. And this is a plastic cover to hide all the cables at the back side. And that is pretty much it guys, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let's finally check out the monitor we've been waiting for. So here's the stand of the monitor, it's a VESA compatible stand, pretty nice quality, complete matte black finish. We'll just come back to this in a moment. And there you go guys, our brand new Mobius gaming monitor from BenQ. Oh boy, this is definitely a big monitor, 27 inches now. Let me just remove this outer packaging and show you. Oh wow. Just have a look at this monitor. So what I'll do is I'll quickly set it up, use it for a couple of days and then be right back to continue the video. Alright guys, I'm back to continue the video. So we are already done with the unboxing and first look part, right? And I've been using that monitor for the past couple of days and now I'll be sharing like my complete experience and review on this product. First, let's start off with the design and the build quality. So talking about the design, BenQ's brand new Mobius EX2710S is a 27 inch 1080p IPS gaming monitor with 165 hertz refresh rate. And the first thing you'll notice is how beautiful the monitor looks from the front. It's got a black and silver color scheme with orange accents on the stand and looks quite attractive. And also not to forget that three-sided borderless design guys. That looks quite seamless and beautiful. And one more great advantage of that is, see whenever you're using like dual monitor setup or triple monitor setup and use these sort of borderless monitors, right? You'll get less blind spot and that will be like greatly advantages and benefits for you when you're using this sort of configuration. So that is one plus point. And if you ask about the build quality. Build quality is very good. The entire body is made of a polycarbonate material in a matte finishing and build quality is solid I'd say. Now what I'll do is I'll give you a physical overview of the monitor and then we'll talk about the different aspects including the adjustability, different buttons present on it and different connectivity ports available as well. Starting off from the front side, first let's talk about the display. It comes with a 27 inch IPS panel with a resolution of 1080 by 1920 and yes it supports HDR as well. But the best part that you know 
know makes it special about gaming is it's got a very high refresh rate of up to 165 hertz that too with 1 millisecond response time so i'm like pretty excited to see this thing in action so that was about the display and if you ask about the bezels bezels are quite thin on three sides but on the bottom you do have a bit thick bezel and given a closer look at that you've got the benq branding at the center and you might wonder what is this chin on the bottom right well it's not something like design aesthetic or anything it actually has like an ambient light sensor on board the monitor actually features something known as brightness intelligence plus which utilizes that sensor on board to automatically adjust the brightness of the monitor so that it is suitable for your environment and ambience that you're currently using the monitor very useful guys now on the sides there's nothing much over here and going to the backside guys here's how the monitor looks like it's got a beautiful x like pattern at the center and mobius branding through the top side and here's how the stand looks from the back side. Now let me just give you a closer look and show you all the available buttons and connectivity ports as well. There are two buttons on it guys. One is a power button which is present on the bottom and the top button is a quick mode change button. And as usual there's a 5 way navigational joystick which you can easily use to access the menu on the monitor and tweak the monitor settings like you know picture settings, audio settings and these sort of stuff. I'll show you that also as and how we power on the monitor. Now coming to the connectivity ports, there you go guys, here are the connectivity ports available on it. There's a port to connect the main score to the right extreme and coming to the left side, the monitor features one 3.5mm headphone jack so you can even connect your headphones directly to it and has two HDMI ports and one display port. And that's it, these are all the stuff available and you've got some details about the monitor just below that. So that is pretty much it guys, these are all the available connectivity ports on it. Giving a look on the bottom side of the monitor, here you'll observe that there's a tiny status LED indicator to the left and beside that you've got the left firing speaker and on the other side you've got the right firing speaker. The monitor also comes with like built-in stereo speakers guys, each of them 2.5 watts, you can get around like 5 watts of output out of these speakers. We'll also put these speakers to a test in this video so stay tuned. So that is pretty much it guys, our complete overview on the design and the build quality. Now let me just quickly power it on and first show you the menu and you know the OSD display available on this model. You can access the monitor's menu using the navigational joystick at the back side. Just click on that and the menu pops up. The Mobius monitor offers you a wide range of color modes to choose from, like you've got sRGB, HDR, game mode, FPS, RPG and even a custom mode to tune everything as per your preferences. I've been using the custom mode only with my personal settings applied. Going down you can access the main menu. Here it gives you a glance on all the current features enabled on the monitor. The menu is pretty similar to most of the monitors out there. You can change between inputs, adjust the color modes available and also offer some extra features like brightness intelligent plus, low blue light adjustment and color weakness adjustment as well. Nicely categorized and easy to understand. Okay now let's talk about the main part, the display. As mentioned earlier, the Mobius EX2710S is a 27-inch Full HD 1080p gaming monitor with an IPS LED backlit panel and supports true 8-bit colors with 99% sRGB color gamut. And the good thing about it is, the monitor supports HDR10 as well. And guys, let me tell you, I've been using it for quite some time for all my testings and gaming purpose as well and was quite happy with the results. It's got 1080p resolution, right? So offers decent detail and sharpness, images look nice and crisp and had no trouble reading text on websites or blogs or anywhere else. A lot of people believe 1080p resolution at 27 inches is not that great, might be blurry, but let me tell you, see that is not the case. It's fine. If you're looking from a creator's perspective, 1440p would have been a lot better, I agree on that. But this is a gaming monitor, right, made for competition and esports purpose. So lower the resolution, higher the frame rate and performance, so better the kill to death ratio. That is the main reason for this. And talking about the colors, just look at those scenes on the screen. Very nice color reproduction. The monitor supports 99% sRGB color gamut which is plenty for gamers. The panel was producing nice and rich colors. But one thing I do have to mention here is, the monitor didn't come with factory color calibration out of the box. So initially the colors were not that accurate and the white balance was also slightly towards bluish green side. I had to manually tweak and calibrate from the monitor's menu to get the best and natural looking results. And also not to forget guys, since it's an IPS panel, viewing angles are also great and the picture looked the same no matter from where you viewed it. 
Also, you might get some questions like, hey Vimal, is this monitor good for creative or productive sort of applications like maybe Photoshop or video editing? Well, for that, I'd say yes, but only after properly calibrating the monitor. It was producing great colors and gets your job done. Talking about the contrast, the contrast and the black levels were fine, but not the best I've seen around this price point. It has a contrast ratio of 1000 is to 1. On the overall, I can say that the Mobius EX2710S was offering a good picture quality with satisfying results. And one more thing I forgot to talk about is that Brightness Intelligent Plus feature. That is something exclusive to only this model, not available on any other model from the competition. This thing automatically adjusts the brightness depending on your room's ambient lighting so your eyes won't strain when using for longer periods of time. A definitely helpful feature. Okay guys, keeping all of these aside, now let's talk about the gaming performance. The Mobius EX2710S supports up to 165Hz high refresh rate with 1 millisecond response time and also supports AMD's FreeSync Premium technology. That means you're getting both LFC and also low latency on board. See, high refresh rates and low response times are quite essential to experience that buttery smooth gameplay. These features try to minimize the motion blur and keep the ghosting effects as low as possible. By the way, I've told you that the response time was around 1 millisecond second right that is MPRT the G2G response time was around 4.5 to 5 milliseconds so keep that in mind just check out this gameplay video so you'll get an idea on the picture quality and sound as well Wow, now that is what I call buttery smooth gaming. A solid 150 to 160 FPS on Doom Eternal at ultra graphic settings. Guys, I'm telling you right, you'll notice a huge difference in the smoothness if you're coming from a 60Hz monitor to a 165Hz setup. And once you get used to this sort of gaming ride, there is no going back. By the way, the game audio that you heard in the video was from the monitor's built-in speakers. I was actually surprised because the sound quality was legit good on this model. It's got stereo downfiring speakers with a total audio output of around 5 watts. The audio quality was great with good clarity and also minimum distortion. It's sufficient for an average user, but don't expect you'll get punchy bass or anything. You'll need a separate audio system for that. Well, that is pretty much it guys, that was my review on BenQ's new Mobius EX2710S gaming monitor. It's a good gaming monitor for the price, great picture quality with super high refresh rate and low response time, and the built-in speaker quality was also nice. The only few things I felt were, out of the box color calibration and accuracy could have been better. And also I was not that satisfied with the HDR performance on it, felt the panel could have been a bit more brighter. Apart from that, it's a great value for money monitor. It costs around 24,000 rupees in India. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.